Radio West Palm, which you know, it's your boy Caro, and we are back with a new Wi Fi battle. I've been slacking on the uploads a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but I was trying to make some VGC teams, so I really want to bring VGC to the channel because VGC is so much fun this year. I'm actually having fun with double battles. I, I always hated double battles, other than VGC 2011 and VGC 2017 are the only formats I've ever really liked. Everyone knows 2016 was cancer, and a lot of the other formats were kind of bad. 2011 was pretty dang fun, though, and 2017 is just as good. Either way, but well, right now we're bringing you a singles battle against Kraken. And I'm bringing... This seems really weird. It's like, it rather does amazingly well, or just terribly. Because <laughs> it has Yuxion, uh, has a Stealth Rock lead, it also has Yawn, so I can force switches. I have Terrakion, Choice Scarf. Bringing back 5th gen, the 5th gen god is here. We have Mega Pinsir, Zygarde, Pukumuku, and we just have Tapu Fini. So either way, let's just jump into this battle. It's a good one. Comes down to the wire, and you guys will not be disappointed. Now, woo! <laughs> Comment question right now. What is your favorite Z-Move user? Not new Pokemon to use, not new anything like that. It could be any Pokemon at all, but it has to be a Z-Move user. What is your favorite Z-Move Pokemon in this generation? I honestly don't know. I love using a lot of different Z-Moves. Z-Move Landers is definitely up there, so I'll put that much out there. Either way, I lead off with Yuxi. He leads off with Me Mega Alakazam. He's all fine and dandy. I know I can take a Shadow Ball and get my Stealth Rocks up. I'm not sure how well I can take it because I am physically defensive, not special defensive. But either way, he goes with that Shadow Ball. Mega Evolves. It does like 50% on the dot, maybe like 55%. Either way, I use my Stealth Rocks up. He has no spinners on this team, that's why I wanted to get Stealth Rocks up right away, because he has a couple of people in weak to Stealth Rocks, like Incineroar. He has no Stealth Rock spinners, so you can't get them get rid of them. And it's perfectly fine way, because it will open up doors for Mega Pinsir and Zygarde. See though, either way, he uses Shadow Ball here. I live with a force, so the leftover recovery really did help. And now I use Yawn. So what Yawn's going to do right now is that he's going to rather have to stay in with Mega Alakazam and let it go to sleep. Letting me set up with Mega Pinsir or Zygarde, depending on what I want to do. Or he's going to have to switch out while Yuxi can go with U-Turn. He stays in. He uses Shadow Ball. That's perfectly fine with me. Yuxi did its job. Yuxi will go down here, but his Mega Alakazam is going to go to sleep and my team can go to town. So that's what I wanted to do. So this whole team, while, I'm, while sitting here while the turns go by, this whole team's point is essentially... Pokemon like Zygarde, Terrakion, Mega Pinsir, Pokemon that can just destroy teams, and then Pukumuku has Z Memento, which will make Pukumuku faint, but will put the opponent's offenses down by half, minus two, and those Pokemon will get back up to full HP if they took any previous damage, so Pokemon like Zygarde and Mega Pinsir love Pukumuku support. Either way, I use Dragon Dance. Luckily enough for me, he still stays asleep. I didn't want to get greedy though, so I went with the plus one adamant thousand arrows. Easily going to be able to take out that Mega Alakazam right there. And that is one fast Pokemon that I do not have to worry about anymore. So, perfectly fine with me. He sends in Tapu Lele right now. So it's kind of weird because Tapu Lele and Zygarde speed tie. So if he's Modest Scarf, I can speed tie with him. If he's Timid Scarf, he will outspeed me. But if he's Timid Scarf, it's only a roll for him to take me out with Moonblast. So, I get kind of greedy here and stay in. I know Thousand Arrows will take him out if I do connect. Unfortunately, he does go with the uh, with the Moonblast. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's Modest or not because if it's Modest, he speed tied with me and won the speed tie. If he's timid, then he outsped me and got a max roll. So either way, unfortunately for me, Zygarde goes down. And that was actually a big misplay on my part because little did I know, I forgot that he had a Zerka Tree and my team has nothing for Zerka Tree other than Zygarde. So that makes this whole battle very, 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 very scary. He goes with Moonblast, so he does confirm that he's scarfed in some way. I'm not sure if he's modest or... Timid, but actually we already knew he was scarf, so what I'm saying. Either way, after rocks, Mega Pinsir comes out here with that jolly return. Oh, close Tapu Lele. Muck comes in right now. And now I have to start thinking about something. Because with his Zerka Tree on the team, I can't let a lot of my Pokemon take damage. Because if he gets the plus one beast boost with Zerka Tree, it's it's basically over for me because if he, especially if he's Scarf Circuitry, because for all I know, he could be double Scarfer on this team, and if he's Scarf Circuitry, he'll outspeed all my Pokemon, bar Terrakion, 
and essentially just destroy my team. My, my whole team is weak to electric, essentially. It's like Tapu Finny, Puku Muku, we have Vega Pinsir. So I really need this preserve Zygarde, and unfortunately I let that go down, and that's gonna make this battle ten times harder. Either way, Puku Muku's gonna use Baton Pass. Jura is in. Jura is now the fifth gen god. <laughs> Either way, I love I love this thing. It's Adamant, Choice Scarf, Terrakion. I go with the close combat, because I need to do as much damage as I can to this Mega Pinsir without Okoing it, essentially. Because if I send in Mega Pinsir or Tapu Finny and Oko this thing, then Xerxes can come in if it's Scarf, take it out, get the beast boost, and then just essentially run havoc on my team. So I try to see if close combat with Adamant was enough to take out Muck. Unfortunately, it's not. And now the weirdness is gone, and I'm at minus one defense. It's not looking good. It's 2-2, two, two. and despite my team looking really threatening, this muck is putting me down right now. So I was in Tapu Fini, specifically because I need to get a Misty Terrain. That way, if I go back in with Mega Pinsir, and he cannot Shadow Sneak me and poison me, I go back in with Terrakion, he cannot Shadow Sneak and poison me. As long as that Misty Terrain is up, I won't get any of those weird... Poisons that come out of nowhere, and that's exactly what I want. I don't want any of my Pokemon getting poisoned because if Mega Pinsir gets poisoned, I can't switch in on anything. If Terrakion gets poisoned, which is like my shining hope in the dark right now, then the game's over because you could probably stall it out with just you know having his, his team pretty, pretty dang bulky. So, either way, I go with the Calm Mind right here. So, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the Calm Mind boost and then hope Moonblast can rather take out Muck. Or preferably leave Muck with just a tiny bit of HP to where Terrakion can come in and essentially clean up because he has Glycopod. He has which I can Stone Edge if I hit, if I hit Stone Edge, Glycopod will go down. He has Zerkatry, which I can take a Thunderbolt from full unless he does not have the Beast Boost. And I'm not worried about Incineroar because I because Incineroar is kind of bad at the moment. Once hidden abilities get released. Intimidate and Cinderella will be a thing in doubles, but in singles, not so much. Either way, mod, uh, not modest, but bold freaking Moonblast from Calm Mind. Not enough to take out this muck. This muck is putting me down right now. I send in Pukumuku because right now, oh, I'm assuming what I want to do is send in Pukumuku, Z Memento, and go to town with Terrakion. So either way, this muck used a Shadow Sneak. Probably would have been better if he used Poison Jab, but he probably didn't know what I wanted to do with this Pukumuku. So, either way, the Pukumuku will restore its replacement's HP with the Z Power, full force Z move, Z memento. Get your offenses out of here, Muck. We don't want you to be hurting us in the slightest. And Pukumuku will go down to Z memento. Put that hand out. You did a good job. You're putting the team on your back right now. Your spiky little sea cucumber, slimy little back. Muck's at low. I do have Jura. He did knock off Jura off earlier, too. So, that means I don't have to lock myself in the close combat and lower my off uh, my defenses. So right now, he's at low enough. He's low enough that an x can definitely take him out from here. I don't have to waste my close combat PP. I don't have to worry about Stone Edge missing. I just go with the x take down that mug. It put way too much work in this battle. And let's just get that thing out of here. Let's, let's get out of there, Muck. Get out, get, 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 get out of there. <laughs> Sound like Porky Pig over there. <laughs> Glycopod comes out. Looking threatening. Guzma's main Pokemon. I take the risk right in here. Gonna go with that Stone Edge. Freaking Terrakion. He's always wearing his spectacles. Always wearing those glasses. Glycopod goes down to that Stone Edge. Easy peasy shampoo squeezy. Circuitry comes out right now. It's at full HP, but there will be Stealth Rocks to take him down just a tiny bit, and that tiny bit might come into play. We don't know. I use that close combat, punching those wires. Circuitry is barely bad defensive. Well, it has kind of okay defense, to be honest, but not enough for an adamant Terrakion. <laughs> the, the freaking OG 5th Gen God. This thing, I don't need, this thing might be like a mountain freaking... The musketeers. This thing might be like a freaking moose, a deer. I don't know, but right now in this battle, Terrakion is the goat, the G O A T, the goat, and that is the battle with the Kraken. Very close to O. All I had left was Mega Pinsir and that Terrakion, and Terrakion put the team on his back, saving the day. Back 
from 5th Gen. If you play 5th Gen, all you should know is Terrakion at 5th Gen was on every team, close combat and everyone, taking everyone out. There were no switch-ins. Terrakion was the god. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this throwback to 5th Gen. Kero Kero Studio. And I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Hope I'll get some more Wi-Fi battles out. And preferably, there'll be some VGC battles. I really want to get some VGC battles onto the channel so I can show you guys how freaking amazing Mudsdale is. <laughs> Either way, I'm out. Hope you guys enjoyed.